Today, I help you choose the best Maxxis tires for your ride. What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I help you choose the best Maxxis tires for your bike. My name is John and if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell to get instant notifications when I upload new content. It's no doubt Maxxis is one of the biggest names in mountain biking and for good reason. They provide riders with some of the best tires money can buy, but the way that they have them listed may confuse you. Let me help you understand how they market them. There are three sections of the tire to understand, the bead, the casing, and the tread. The bead is the section of the tire that keeps your tire secured to the rim. The following bead types are used. Wire bead, which is a rigid metal wire used as a bead material where ultimate strength is required. The folding bead, this is uh, more of a modern design. It's designed to be foldable while also keeping the tire secured to the rim, but is a lighter weight than the wire bead. The bead is usually made of Kevlar fibers. The casing or the sidewall is what your tire is made of. The part you see with the Maxxis logos and what the tread is applied to. There are many different types of casings and it can get very confusing. These are best matched to what type of riding you will be doing. The first one, which is the least protective is EXO, an extremely cut resistant material added to the sidewalls of select MTB tires. It's built with a densely woven fabric that is lightweight and highly flexible. This ensures that your tire's performance remains unaffected. And then we have XO Plus, which has all the same benefits of XO, but adds an additional silk shield layer for added protection against punctures and cuts. The next one we have is Double Down, which is the second toughest tire Maxxis makes. This tire is designed for enduro racing. It is reinforced with two layers of butyl inserts, which provide the racer with support and protection for those gnarly downhill sections while being lighter than a full downhill tire. And last, we have the downhill casing. This is the strongest tire you can buy. This is made for those treacherous downhill bike park runs. You'll want this tire if you're riding very rocky sections where ultimate protection is necessary. This tire is made with a dual ply downhill construction with a butyl insert for support and rim protection. Something you might see on the tires is TPI. TPI is the number of threads per inch of a single ply of the tire casing. A lower TPI gives you better puncture protection, but it's heavier. A higher TPI conforms better to the terrain for a smoother and more comfortable ride, but is not as puncture resistant. Tubeless Ready, or TR, allows you to ditch the inner tube and run tire sealant to save weight, run lower air pressure, and decrease your risk of getting a flat. So let's move on to the tread compounds. Super Tacky is a special low rebound, high traction compound used in mountain bike tires. 3C Triple Compound uses a harder, longer lasting base layer and two progressively softer top layers in order to optimize traction and stability. Next we have 3C Max Terra. 3C Max Terra is softer and offers more traction than a 3C Max Speed, yet provides better tread wear and less rolling resistance than Max Grip. And last we have 3C Max Grip. 3C Max Grip offers the ultimate in grip and slow rebound properties for unparalleled traction in downhill applications. Maxxis recently started incorporating a WT after the tire size. For instance, 27.5 by 2.5 WT. This tire has a 27.5 inch diameter by a 2.5 inch tread width. The WT stands for Wide Trail. This is designed for 29 to 35 millimeter inside diameter wheels. This allows for the key engagement points of the tire to make contact with the trail surface, allowing you to have the best grip the tire can offer. So which tire should you choose? That really all depends on your riding style and what type of riding you'll be doing. For instance, if you are a more of a cross-country rider, you should choose a tire with less rolling resistance that also has an EXO casing, something along the lines of an Ardent Race or a Forecaster. For trail riding, you're going to want a more aggressive tire. My personal favorite for trails is the Minion DHF and the Minion DHR2 combo. The DHF is a fantastic front tire, incorporating ramped knobs for low rolling resistance and channel cut knobs for increased edge grip, giving you great straight line control and increased confidence while cornering. The DHR2 has side knobs borrowed from the DHF to corner fantastic while also providing large flat knobs in the center to provide increased braking. For straight up downhill, there's no better combo than an Asagai for the front and a DHR2 for the rear. For downhill applications, you're going to want the best of the best. 3C Max Grip, downhill casing, 60 TPI, and tubeless ready. These tires will be so sticky that you will grip any corner you find. 
Very stiff sidewalls will protect against those super rocky downhill runs, allowing you to make it to the bottom while still retaining all of your air. This is my favorite combo. While they are pretty expensive at $95 a tire, you will no doubt get your money's worth out of them. That about does it for today's video. Hopefully I made it a little easier for you to understand how a Max's tire works. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. All clickable links down below in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.